Okay, again, again referring to my messy and my weird drawings. Well, I just, I just cannot find something that I can look on the internet that is clear and succinct. Like, I, I even, like, you know, wrote a overview of logic on my website, and that, that isn't, that isn't even, that is not even clear or succinct. So, um, first, predicate logic is the involvement of either one of these things. Um, this is a universal quantifier, which means when it's put in a uh, sentence of logic, this means all. This is an ex existential quantifier, which means when it's put with a sentence, it means some. So let's look at this. Now, now in this, you'll see x is here, 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 and here. Now, this means that we are referring to a certain x being an object or being some kind of object, so it's being some sort of particular specific object that we're talking about is what this x is. Now, these aren't these aren't different x's. These, these are these are all referring to the same x, and and then m, a, and b are are uh, characteristics or traits or something like that. So this would be read as say that m is. Let's say say that M is uh, guitars. Um, this says all get. And then if M is guitars, then we'll say that A that A is acoustic and B is electric. Um, wait, I want to change the symbol. <laughs> My apologies. I want to make this. Um, I want to make that that. Okay, now thinking of it this way, this the M is the M is guitars, A's are acoustic, B's are electric. So all guitars are either acoustic or electric. So this is just an example of what this. Uh, predicate logic sentence like this would look like, or what could be exemplified as. Now this one, um, you can see the difference here is that there's not a, you know, there's not, here there's a, there's a extra, you know, here we're just referring to saying that all, or, the, or that some P's, in there, it's saying that in some cases, if P then Y. So, here it's saying that in all guitars, so if there if there wasn't there, it'd be saying that all th things are either acoustic or, or electric. So you can see how these are different. Like th that 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 you can put one or more characteristics outside certain parentheses where you would you know use one of these symbols. So this could read as saying that, um, saying that P is wealth, and saying that. Why is is arrogance? For some for some cases, if wealth then arrogance. That's one. That's one way of exemplifying a sentence, a pregnant logic sentence like that. So, what I want to do, like looking at these two possibilities, let's see if you can't translate this sentence into a predicate logic sentence like this. All cheetahs are blue. Okay, and then what that would mean. We are making cheetahs to be C, and then blue to be Y. All cheetahs are blue. How do you think, I mean, you can just think about how we would translate this. So, um, this would mean that we would have this, an existential quantifier. This is how that would be translated because all cheetahs. This is like if this is basically saying it another way. If there's a cheetah, then it's blue. Now this this obviously isn't true. This is just a lot of logically consistent uh, statement. So this is how what you might translate that, given how you would what variables you would assign to it. 
here's another one. Some some crocodiles are either salties or gharials. Salties and gharials are obviously two different kinds of crocodiles. Um, so some crocodiles are either salties or gharials. Now, let's think about how the, that would translate. Now, here instead of all, we have the keyword some. So we would be using this symbol here. So some crocodiles assigning to the assigning crocodiles the C letter. Some crocodiles. Now, now, do you think that there could be a crocodile that's a salty and a gharial? Obviously not. So, um, assigning we have S. This is way way you might translate this statement. Some crocodiles are either salties or gharials. To some, well, c considering X's, some C's are either S or G's, but not both. So here's another way of looking at it. Here, here's another example. All pythons are not colubrids. Colubrids are a different kind of general snake, and pythons are voids, so this is a logically, this is a beyond logical true statement. Um, so, since we have the keyword all, we use this symbol, and pythons. If it's a python. Now, um, for all, all, if there's a python in any case, it is not a colubrid. That's how you would translate that, because we have all pythons are not colubrids. And then, the, you know, sometimes you might get, you might see it, you might think of it, and it's could it be translated a little bit different. So we have just like the same thing here. You would think you would, might think of it differently, but this is the way it would go. In, in in all cases of X, P's are not C's. Okay, here's the last one. In all in all humans, they either are poor or rich, and are either arrogant or humble. This is a bigger one that I thought of. In all humans, so we have all humans are either. Or not enrich. And are Okay, this is a longer one, so I kind of um. In all cases of X, and in, in all humans, they are either P or R, but not, but not both, and they are either A and D, but not both. So, um, they're either going to be one of these two, but not both, and they're either going to be one of these two, and not both, considering X is all cases of X that are humans. Okay, I'm tired of talking about logic, it's boring. But um, I, I, th I thought I should do that for you know those who have not been exposed to it all, at all. I, I haven't even taken a logic class though. But and if I screwed anything up, please tell me. But anyway, I hope you guys have a have an awesome day.